Dear students, now we are going to discuss pin diagram of 8279 keyboard display controller. Let's start with the features of 8279. Intel 8279 is a keyboard display controller which is used for interfacing keyboard and display devices to the microprocessor. It is a 40 pin dual inline package IC. It can allow simultaneous keyboard and display operations. Okay. So next one is keyboard related features. 8279 provides a scanned interface to a 64 contact key matrix. So it can interface with the 64 contact key matrix with two additional control keys, control and shift. Okay, so it is very important feature here. There are three input modes for this keyboard interface. The first one is scanned keyboard mode. Scanned sensor matrix mode, strobed input mode. So we will discuss these three modes in the architecture of 8279. So next it has built in hardware to provide key debounce. It has 8 by first in first out RAM to store key codes. There are two key depression modes available here. The first one is two key lockout. The second one is N key rollout. The major difference between these two methods is in two key lockout, if two keys are pressed simultaneously, only the first key is recognized. But in this N key rollover, simultaneously pressed keys are recognized and their codes are stored in first in, first out. Okay. So we can prefer N key rollover method. Next one is display related features. 8279 has 16 byte display RAM which is used to store display codes for 16 digits. So it has 16 byte display RAM okay for storing that display codes. There are two output modes one is left entry like typewriter method. Next one is right entry like calculator method okay. This is the pin diagram of 8279. This is the signal diagram. It is a 40 pin dual inline package IC. It has 20 pins, 1 to 20 in this left hand side from top to bottom and 21st to 40th pins in this right hand side from bottom to top. Okay. So here we can start with this ground and power supply signal. The 20th pin is the VSS that is ground signal and here the 40th pin is the VCC that is the supply signal. So this 80 to 79 requires plus 5 volt for its operation okay. So let's discuss each pin in detail here. So this 80 to 79 has 8 written lines that is RL okay. So RL0, RL1, here it is RL2, RL3, then RL4, 5, 6 and 7. So there are 8 Return lines are used to interface with the matrix keyboard. Okay, so this eight lines are used to interface with the matrix keyboard to get the data. Okay, so that's what the return lines RL0, RL1, 2, 3. After two pins, here it is 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay, the third pin is the clock signal. That is the system clock for the operation of this 80 to 79. So next one is IRQ that is interrupt request okay. So next reset pin it is used to reset this 80 to 79 that means to enter into an ideal state okay. Read bar write bar these two signals are the control signals to control the operation of read the data and write the data okay on the data bus. So here 8 bit data bus is available DB02 db7 okay so this all are the 8 bit data bus which is used to transfer the data command word status between this 80 to 79 and the microprocessor so this is the communication line between the processor and this keyboard interface okay so next one is ground signal that's it in this left hand side then this right hand side the 21st pin is a0 that is the address line. Okay. So the combination of this A0 address line and this 
read bar write bar can define the operation of this 80 to 79 okay so next one is cs bar that means chip select bar it is an active low signal which is used to enable the communication between the processor and this 80 to 79 okay it is very important control signal to select this chip it should be always zero okay so next one is bd bar so bd bar means blank detect if there is any blank space in the display it can be defined by this pin okay it is also an active low signal whenever it is low it can define the blank space in the display okay next one is out signals okay so in this 80 to 79 two four bit output lines are available that is out a0 to a3 out b0 to b3 okay so this two four bit output lines are considered as one eight bit port okay so these are mainly used for sending the data to the display drivers okay so these are the display related signals okay so next one is scan lines sl0 sl1 sl2 sl3 there are four scan lines which are used for keyboard interfacing and then shift control or stroke these two are the control signals for this keyboard and display okay next one is signal diagram in this signal diagram the signals are grouped based on their functionalities okay so we can have cpu interface signals here it is keyboard related signals scan signals display related signals and then power supply signals okay cpu interface signals that means whichever signals are communicated with the cpu those signals are grouped as cpu interface signals okay the first one is irq that is interrupt request so whenever this keyboard and interface is going to interrupt that microprocessor it can send the signal to the processor okay interrupt request okay so next one is data bus it is a 8 bit data bus mainly used to, to transfer the data command word and status between the processor and then the 80 to 79 then this read bar write bar this are used for reading and writing that operation so reading and writing means loading the data as well as reading the data okay transferring the data so next chip select okay so this signal is mainly used to, to enable this 80 to 79 if it is low then only it can be enabled okay so next a0 that is the address line from this cpu okay reset is used to reset this interface clock signal so it is required to operate this 80 to 79 vcc that is the power supply signal and here it is ground signal the side keyboard related signal the first one is rl0 to rl7 so that is eight return lines okay eight return lines are used to interface the matrix keyboard with this 80 to 79 okay so next shift and then control or stop these two signals are used for controlling the position of key so shift means to control the position of the key okay and then control and stroke control means it is used in case of scanned keyboard mode stroke means it is the input in case of stroked input mode okay so next scan lines the scan lines is mainly used to scan the data okay so here two four bit output lines are available that means totally eight output lines okay finally bd bar that is blank detect signal it is going to detect the blank space in the display okay so this is the pin diagram as well as signal diagram of 80 to 79 let's discuss each signal in detail here the first one is cpu interface signals db0 to db7 it is a 8 bit data bus which is used to transfer the data command word and status information between the cpu and the interface that is 80 to 79 so next one is read bar write bar both are the active low signals next a0 that is the address line from the processor okay 
So these three bits are used to, to define the operation of 80 to 79 that is keyboard display interface. The combination is 0, 1, 0. Then CPU writes data to 80 to 79. If it is 0, 0, 1, CPU reads data from 80 to 79. 110 means CPU loads command word to 80 to 79. 101 then CPU reads status word from 80 to 79. Okay. So the next one is chip select. It is the active load chip select signal. Whenever it is low, it enables the communication between the processor and 80 to 79. Reset is used to reset the keyboard display interface. Clock represents the system clock to generate the timing intervals okay next one is irq that is interrupt request so the signal is used to implement the interrupt driven input system to the processor next one is keyboard related signals rl0 to rl7 there are eight return lines which are used to interface the matrix keyboard with the processor these lines have active internal pull-up registers which keep their status always high. When the key from the matrix keyboard is pressed, the corresponding return line goes low. So we can identify the keys. Okay. So next one is shift. It is a special key input line used to store the key position on the key closer. So whenever we are closing the key contact, it can be stored that position. So then control or stroke line, this line is used as a control input in case of scanned keyboard mode. It is a stroke input in case of stroked input mode. Okay. Next one is scan signals. There are four scan lines SC0 to SC3. So this section has a scan counter with a 4 bit. Next one is display data signals. There are two 4 bit output lines available out A3 to A0 out B3 to B0. So these two 4 bit output lines are considered as one 8 bit port. These are used for sending data to display drivers for display RAM. Okay. So the last one is BD bar that is blank display. This is an active low signal used to display the blank space during switching condition as well as by identifying the Blanking command.